peace and love, peace and love, peace and love. Welcome back to Tunji Talks. Now, today we're going to be talking about the importance of reading. Now, uh, we are going to PBD. Of course, he's an American businessman, uh, Patrick Bet David, and we are going to get his take on reading. So, for example, uh, uh, parents, I can't get my kids to read. How do you make them read? I don't even understand and relate to what you mean you can't get your kids to read. What do you mean you can't get your kids to read? Right now, if you saw my daughter come behind me and walk past over you, I don't know if you saw that or not, is because she came, she's reading the book right now, and she gave me a report after she read the 20 pages. Why did she do that? None of the benefits of the day she gets until she reads. What are the benefits? Playing outside during the summer, going in, in the pool. You get zero benefits, unless if you read a book. Now, you may say that's extreme. That's your problem. That's not mine. That's my vision of what I want to do. But when I'm sitting there and I'm having conversations with my kids and I'm enjoying the conversations, when they're pulling up stories that I didn't even know about, did you know such and such person in 1850 did this? Did you know this person? I'm like, wow, that's pretty interesting. I didn't know that. How'd you learn that? Oh, I read it in this one book. You know, so opportunities expand for your children the more well read they are with the material. Guess what, Mr. and Mrs. CEO? If you say, don't worry about it, work from home. You don't have to read. You don't have to do this, babe. You don't have to do that. You're raising people that have limited in their opportunities. All of this rises and falls on leadership. So some takeaways from the clip now. It's okay. So he when he talks about parents saying, oh, you know what? I can't get my child to read um, a couple of things. So it's about the modeling. So have you as a parent, as a carer, as a guardian, have you modelled the expectation of reading, of setting aside time to read? Uh, have you uh, read with your young person, for example? If you haven't done any of that and you're just saying, oh, go and read, you know, we, we've got to take steps in order to get that young person to independently read for themselves. And not only just read for themselves, but for that young person to fall in love with reading because so much can be gained from reading. Um as the parent carer guardian you have to be the adult in the situation you have to set the expectation so in a uh, pbd's case um with all of his children the expectation is if you want the benefits of the day you are going to read 20 pages a day then you're going to write a report on the 20 pages you read and i'm going to read it and i'm going to say good okay now you can do what you want you can play you can you can play outside you can go out you can do this you can do that etc etc so being the adult in the in the room most of you know i'm a huge pbd fan and pbd has this quote um and i've written it down pages equal currency in our households are similar to what i just said in that the more you read the more you are able to get the more leverage you have okay uh, i know for example pbd has um his his kids like lego and he he buys these incredible lego sets so in order for his kids to access these lego sets they have to read like 10 books and once they've read these 10 books then they can you know play with the lego set so in that way it's sort of like a game and um there's an element of competition and whatnot so you know that is something that people can incorporate additionally pbd talked about the rich uh, and diverse conversations he is having with his children and why is he having these conversations well it's because uh, his children are reading books uh, and, and because of the books they're reading his children are well read and they're knowledgeable um and you know that gives you perspective and reading gives you wisdom so some might say oh do you know what the reading 20 pages a day plus the report that's too much for me okay i've I've got an alternative for you you may want to do my famous 20 40 60 method if you don't know what that is okay over to me in my classroom this is the famous whiteboard and i've told you guys about this before but let's have a look so students should read for 20 minutes a day however reading for 40 minutes is better than reading for 20 and reading for 60 minutes is better than reading for 40 but reading for 20 minutes a day is better than reading for zero minutes. So this is just one for the young people out there. Reading, reading, reading. Like, share and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down below. Of course, when you read, your brain is wired differently. So let's take a look at Catherine Biblissing, who is dubbed 
Britain's strictest headmistress. Same thing with English. It's not just about T being taught how to re- write an essay. It's about constant reading. And if you just let your child sit on their phone all the time, then the, 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 their, their brains are not going to develop in the same way as children who are reading all of the time. Mm. And they're not going to want to read. So one of the worst things you could do is put a, give a toddler a phone and have them on their phone all the time. And you're not supervising that. I don't mind if you want to use some maths apps and you sit with the child and do it with them. But if they're just on their phones all of the time, when it comes to reading, they then find that boring. And it's really hard for a book that's black and white and flat to compete with a phone that has all sorts of explosions and colours and so on. I want to leave you with this, the following. If you are a parent, a carer, a guardian, and you don't know your young person's reading age, I, right now, what I need you to do, I need you to stop. I need you to email your child's school. And I need you to ask for your child's reading age because we can ascertain what we need to do in order to help them get to that, that correct reading age. So, for example... When your child does their GCSEs, they need a reading age of 16. Now, if that young person goes into their GCSEs without a reading age of 16, that young person is doing themselves a disservice. So anyway, let me know your thoughts down below. And as always, Tunji Talkers, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Let me know what are your key takeaways. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.